it does frustrate me sometimes and i have encouraged parents in the past and i still do the amount of calls that i get from parents saying x y and z has happened and and i say to them what would you do if it was in school if your child was unhappy in school would you just let it go and a lot of it is fear mm. uh, of being released and i say to them gosh you know is it that important to you that you're willing to let your child suffer so say for example they haven't started for five six games you know they're getting a lack of game time or they've been away to a tournament and barely played you know you know that that's not right unless it's it's been explained to them before why that's going to happen but my view has always been they shouldn't be at the club if they're not going to play um i do think sometimes families bring it on themselves um some of the issues mm -hmm. um for example how far they travel you know something that i've spoken with people like chris and other people i, I speak to a lot in the industry about and how if it was a school although it's different with schools in terms of catchments but if the school was 10 minutes away you would generally go to that school you would not travel mm. you know one hour one hour and a half mm. to go to another one that was very similar hmm? yeah isn't that isn't that also an issue with the club sort of inviting parents knowing that they live like their kids it, again it depends it depends on the club so mm. when i was at mk dons we would get a lot of phone calls for, about boys in London mm. wanting to come to MK Dons and for a very short time we allowed it to happen but after a while it just didn't sit easy with us like they were getting a train to Milton Keynes they would then have to get from the station to the training ground then they've got to perform and then they've got all that to do it again at nine o'clock at night mm. and then they got to school the next day so we just decided, look, Milton Keynes is, is, is enough people in Milton Keynes. We're just going to, and we, we we don't think we've even got got the best players in Milton Keynes. So we're going fo to focus on Milton Keynes. Other clubs, yeah, it, it's different. And um, obviously, you you know, um, with, with club, other club, some clubs with the resources can support that from a transport perspective. Mm. Um, but, you know, they're still in the car through rush hour, et cetera, et cetera. And the times of training aren't ideal yeah. um, at times. Um, and my worry is always, you know, when they get home, what does that look like in terms of they haven't had a meal yet, getting showered, do they have homework? Now they've got to try and get to sleep and et cetera, et cetera.